Hey, how's it going? Jason here. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about raffia and how you can use it to bend larger branches. All right, so what is raffia? Raffia is basically a natural occurring fiber that comes from a palm tree. Now, what we're concerned about is protecting the cambium layer on our branches. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to wrap it around the branches so we can protect the layer when we do heavy bends. Uh, now, the raffia starts out looking like this. Usually you can buy it like this. It comes in a big old pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this big old thing of raffia here and we're going to separate them into strands. We're going to take out little strands like this one by one, just like this. And the goal of this is just to create a thicker strand that we can wrap around the branches. Now what we can do is, depending on the thickness of the branch and how heavy the bend is, is how thick we're going to make this, this grouping, right? So I've got four or five strands here together. This is too thin, so we're going to keep on going. So i got another one, and I'm just going to keep on picking at this until this, this bundle here gets a little thicker. I'm going to keep on going one by one. By one. I'm going to take the thin ones. Of course, it works faster if you take thicker ones. Just like you can see that it's starting to get a little thicker like this, a little bit. Let's go keep going. You know, so far I've probably got about 15, but we can go a little bit thicker. Now, if you've got a thicker branch that you need to bend, you're going to have to go a little bit thicker. That way you can really protect the branch that you're wrapping it around, that you're planning on bending. So let's see. Okay. So this isn't too bad. You see that's pretty thick right there. You see that right there? It's not too bad. You can see how it's really strong together. Now if you have one, it's going to tear, but if you got a grouping of them, it's going to be really strong. Okay, so now you got this strand like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tie them together. I'm going to take one strand that I like, this one right here. Let's take this one and wrap it around like this, around the end. And we're just going to tie a knot, just like that. And we can tie a double knot if we just want to make sure that that doesn't slip away. Just like that. So now, I've got this. Now if I've got my shears and I want to pretty this up right here, I can kind of get rid of all this excess here. That's what I'm going to do. All this right there. So now it looks all nice, looks all neat, and nice and organized. Okay, so now I've got this whole strand like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to wrap this around the branches. Imagine this, my finger is the branch, and it's going to go around like this. Okay, we're going to show you on the branch. So it's basically going to wrap around the branch like that. But the first thing I have to do is soak this because the raffia is much stronger when it's wet. Okay, so what I do is I can wrap it into a little ball like this. Just tie it off a little bit. No, don't tie a knot. Just create a little bundle like this, and I can drop that in the water. All right, so I went inside and got a little mixing bowl right here. It's filled with water. So basically, I'm going to put my little bundle here, a little circle bundle here. I'll close it up so it stays in a nice little circle and drop it in the water. Okay, I'm going to soak that in there and let that soak for, you know, a few minutes. Now I'll come back to it. All right, so this has soaked for a little bit now. So now what we can do is we can take them out and it shouldn't tangle. I didn't tie them out when I did that. So it's a little wet, so now I'm just going to lay them on the table so they can kind of dry out a little bit. Now you don't want them fully soaking when you're working on it just because it's going to make a big mess and you're just going to get water everywhere. So it's good to just let this drain. Okay, so now I've basically got this raffia and it's just drying out right now. So I just leave it on the table, let it dry out, and then I'm going to get a tree and we're going to apply this to one of the branches. Alright, so here I am back to my normal spot and I've got this shimpaku that I got from my nursery. And it's pretty healthy, but it does not have really good branch structure at all. You can see that I've got two branches right here that are basically just going opposite directions like this. And it just really doesn't have any uh, movement that agrees with itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some raffia to this one just to illustrate. Uh, I might actually eliminate this one later, but since I'm not using this branch, I can at least use it to show you guys how you can use the raffia and how to bend a little thicker branch that maybe you wouldn't want to do with just wire. Um, and you want to protect it so you want a little bit of insurance so that you can bend it without worrying that you're going to kill the branch. All right, so I'm going to apply it to this one just for illustration purposes so you guys can see uh, how to use the raffia once you prep the raffia, how you can use it on your branch. So what you want to do is you want to protect the area that you're going to bend. So if the part that you go bend it is right here, right there, you're going to want to make sure that you have a very, very tight wrap around that area. So the first thing you do 
is start the rapier on that side, and you just go around the branch. Okay, and you want to take the whole strand and go around the branch. What you'll actually do is you will end up raffying. So I'm going to you pull the whole strand. You'll be raffying it over the raffia, uh, the end of the raffia, so that way it keeps it tight. And then you just kind of wrap it. So once it's locked in place, you can continue to move up the tree. Now you will get dirty during this process. Get it really tight. And you can see that since we use the full strand, we use the bundle here, it's got a really wide sort of surface area for you to wrap the branch. See right there. Now we're going to find out where that branch is, and it's this one right here. So we're going to weave through some of these branches, because those branches, you know, we're not concerned with. We're just concerned with that, that one in the middle. So then you just slowly get the raffia out. Make sure you don't accidentally pull branches off, because the raffia will get stuck on a lot of stuff. Tight the whole way. Okay, and you can see that it's wrapping around that branch. So weave around the branches. Probably the hardest part is to weave around the branches. So now you guys can see that I'm wrapping this branch, this one right here, that one right there. And I'm basically creating a flat, flattening out the raffia and just going around it slowly. And I'm only concerned about that one branch, so. Now this is actually a thinner branch. You can use this technique on very thick branches, and I'll show you in a future video. But for this one, I just want to illustrate how to use it, so that way you can start to using it. You can start to use it immediately. So see, I create that nice little flat segment right there. And I go. So this is the part that was going to bend it. Now I'm going to assume that we're just going to bend it down, just for illustration purposes today. We're just going to bend this one down. So that's the part. It's the danger spot. So we're going to wrap it around again. Get every strand nice and flat. You can see, wrap it really tight. You can see it's almost like a little bandage right around, right around the branch right there. It's extremely dirty. So keep on going. Now at this point, some of the wrappings are going to be shorter than the others, but that's okay. Just wrap it and then wrap over it on the next round so that it looks like a really nice clean bandage. See, flat there, and see how it's very secure and it's protecting the cambium really, really well. So you keep going up. Just like that, and continue up. So at this point, this is the danger spot right here, and I've already got that wrapped really well, but we can keep on going up since I've got raffia left, if I decide to make more bends on the higher part of that branch. Keep going up. So I'm not planning on doing major bends up in this area, so I can actually stop it now. Okay, so right here, let's finish this out, zoomed up a little bit. I'll just do one more round. One more round like that. Okay, so now here's the trick. Okay, when you tie it, you want to take two strands, one in each hand, and spin them around each other. Okay, maybe two times. Okay. Just like that. You go around it, you twist it, and come around like this, and just tie it off. Okay. And just try to tie that, tie the knot right there really tight, and then do it one more time, just so it doesn't slip off. Okay, get that really tight. Okay, and then you grab your shears and you just cut off all the excess here. Now if you've got your knots tied there, they won't slip, so you'll be in good shape. Now this branch right here is now completely protected, so I can come in here and I can bend this down really aggressively, because I know at this point right here, where it's connected, if it's this branch, it's connected to that primary branch right there, this one, so this branch right here is connected to that primary branch, and it's, it's very, very strong. And even if I snap it, so even if I break it, the cambium is going to be protected, and that branch will survive. That's the wonderful thing about using raffia 
Now see, now I can bend this one all the way down. Now I'm supporting it because the danger spot is right here. That's the break spot, so that's why I'm keeping my finger right there. But you can see you can bend this down really far, as long as you support it right there, just because of that raffia. So I can see it again, that's where it is, and if now I can bend it down really far, and it won't have an issue. Now the breaking point's gonna be right there, but if I've got the raffia tied on there really tight, then I know it's not gonna break. So at this point, you can see that, you know, if I, since I put the raffia there, I can bend this bench and put it in any spot I want. Okay, so I've got the giant seven wire on here and you can see that it's pretty thick. So you wanna make sure that you use, when you're using the seven wire, that you have a very, very good anchor. That means that it will not move, it will not budge at all from applying this. Sometimes you gotta break out some other tools here so that you can get this anchored on really nice. And pliers are a very good way of doing it. So now you can see that I can take this branch and I can bend it. Now I've got the wire right over the danger spot because that's where it would break. Now you can see that you can bend that down pretty far with just the wire. Now if I wanted to go further, I could guy wire, get it down even further. But this was just to illustrate what you can do with the raffia and some thick wire. So you can kind of tell that if you were trying to bend something further down and you really were kind of worried about it, worried about whether or not it would break, you can use raffia to create that bend. And then over time it will just set in this position. So afterwards you can remove the wire, remove the raffia, and your branch will just be in that position. So I've seen a lot of people use different materials uh, to do this. I've seen them use burlap rope or some rafting tape. But the overall goal is the same. Uh, it's to protect the cambium. So that way, if you protect the cambium and you accidentally break the branch while you know doing the bend, uh, it'll prevent it from killing the branch. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Give me a like if you thought the video was helpful. Otherwise, subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Thanks for watching.